Hey everyone, Irene here from Adminami, ready to bring you your second uh, zero tip. Um, big welcome to everyone who's joined the group in the last week. I'm excited to be able to show you um, how to get more out of your zero subscription. And just a reminder for everyone that if you have any particular area of zero that you're struggling with or that you'd like to um, know a bit more about, please feel free to message me or the Admin Army page um, and I will work those tips into um, the schedule. Uh, with all of that in mind, I'm going to get on with it. Um, so today, the tip that I'm going to show you is around um, tracking categories. And these are really useful if you um, are operating across multiple areas in your business and you want to track um, how those, those multiple areas are um, in, by comparison. So an example of this would be uh, someone who had a retail shop and who was also going to markets and selling at markets. So you might want to track um, your sales and your expenses for your retail shop separately to the sales and expenses, um, oh sorry, the expenses for um, your markets. Uh, so to set these up, uh, you come into settings and select general settings, and then you select tracking. Um, so this is um, this demo company already has one uh, tracking category set up, which is by region. Um, but this could be where you have, um, you know, sales type. Um, I know for me, um, in Admin Army, I have services um, set up as separate tracking categories. So I'm, I'm tracking um, bookkeeping services versus VA services separately. Um, and you can have up to two tracking, tracking categories in um, zero. And in each tracking category, you can have up to 100 category options. So there is the opportunity to really drill down into your data quite deeply. Um, to add, so to add a tracking category, it's as simple as giving it a name and then um, setting up some category options. Um, and you can come in and also rename those category options at any point in time. So um, say you had each of these category options as a different store that you were operating um, and you renamed one of those stores or it moved, you could easily come in and update that if um, required. Um, I see quite a lot of um, business owners who um, track different rental properties this way. Um, so if they're operating, um, you know, uh, say you have five or six rental properties, um, you can have each rental property as a different name. Um, and that's really just to give you an example of, of how you can um, use those tracking categories and hopefully get you thinking. So once you have those set up, what that then means is if we come into um, this draft invoice here that is set up, we now have the option um, in the invoice screen um, to select a region. So this is where we're able to attribute um, that revenue or um, in the example of bills, which has regions as well, um, that expense to that particular tracking category. So, and then all you have to do is enter the region and approve it. So it really doesn't add too much to your process. Um, you're also able to, if you're just directly coding from your um, bank statements, you now have this little region selected down in the bottom of the blue box here. So you can select that and um, just uh, create the transaction the same way that you would um, otherwise. Um, and then once you start, um, selecting those tracking categories and um, attributing costs and revenue to those groups, you are actually then able to pull reports based on um, those regions. So if we come into the profit and loss, um, we can see here this is just the standard profit and loss um, for the month ended 31 March for the demo company. What we are then able to do is uh, select this um, format up here which is compare regions. And we're now comparing um, each of the regions that we have set up as a tracking category um, across um, for the entire financial year. So we can see that East Side had um, $3,000 worth of sales um, during the year, but West Coast had 15,000. Um, so obviously West Coast is doing really well. We can see how much um, each of these are contributing to the overall total. We can also see how many, uh, how much um, income or expenses have not been um, attributed to a region. So if you are 
um, wanting to make sure that you haven't um, missed any, um, that would be where you would go to look to see if, uh, what you need to attribute. And then we can also see what, you know, the real benefit of that is that we can also see the profit for each of those regions um, or the, each of those tracking categories to see which ones are actually contributing to the bottom line and which ones aren't. So this, um, using the example of um, someone who's attending markets and also has a retail store, it would be a really great way to see um, from a financial perspective what the benefit of attending those markets is, how much are you actually um, managing to make um, in terms of profit from attending those markets as opposed to your store. Um, would love to hear your feedback on, on uh, this tip and these and tracking categories. Um, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll be around later on today and um, be coming back to answer any questions there might be. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye.